G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Thanks for watching Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're going to be doing a Red Sea Reefer revamp. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a Red Sea Reefer that's been established for over 12 months that we think that we can improve. So first of all we'll have a look at the tank and we'll uh, show you exactly the sort of things that we'll do to make this tank even better. So first of all let's have a look at the tank. So this tank is predominantly soft corals and as you can see we've got these massive sections of soft corals which are really overtaking. We've also got what I would say is a problem with the rock work in that it's very open up the top here and I really like to have tanks with uh, structure which fits the size of the tank and the dimensions well so I think we need to work on this section here. As you can see, there's a very small number of fish. And the reason for this is that we have tried a number of fish in here, but we've got one very aggressive damsel, a little humbug damsel, this guy here, which has been making it very difficult to have success with the fish in this tank. These Bangai Cardinals are living in fear, and you can see that this humbug really owns the tank. So, Something we're going to do today is take out that humbug and we'll add a few more fish just so that we've got um, more fish, more colour, uh, we'll have better rock work. We'll start with a few new corals and we'll take out some of the, uh, some of the soft corals that's becoming a bit of a weed. We're also going to uh, do some modifications to the filter. So let's have a look at the filter now and we'll see what we can do to improve this tank. As you can see, it's running really low. So we need to find a way for the client to keep this uh, auto top up reservoir filled up so that we've always got the return pump underwater. It's very important. What we're going to do today with the filter is we're going to change out the filter socks. We're going to clean up the detritus in the sump, clean out the skimmer and Hopefully we're just going to improve the cable management a little bit um, just so it's somewhat neater anyway. Okay, so let's get into it. So before we do any work on this tank, the most important job that I have to do is catch out this humbug damsel. Now I have an artillery of nets and I am totally prepared to take every single rock, every single coral out to get this fish. This is definitely the most important thing. He's going to hide right amongst the rock work, but what I'm hoping is that I'm going to be able to catch him very quickly at the surface. Mm -hmm. Got him. Okay. So we finally got out the humbug damsel, and to do so, I had to take out a lot of this rock and coral. So I'm just putting it back in. I'm just gonna place it roughly in the same spot for now. But given that we had to take all of this out, um, it means that we're gonna have to rebuild the whole tank, which isn't a big problem. We're sort of expecting to have to do that anyway. Um, but that's the first thing that we had to do. So now we'll work on the rock work and then we'll do the filter. So we have a prepared piece of rock work that we've epoxied together with the hope that it will fit perfectly on this right hand side to give us some height with this overall structure. At the moment I'm just clearing out some space so that we've got somewhere to put it and I'll show you this piece of rock. Okay, it's just down here. I think we'll put it in like this. We've also got epoxy feet so that it sits flat on the bottom of the tank. So 
So this piece has some nice ledges that jut out. I want them specifically on the edge uh, with enough space that we can easily clean between the glass um, so we can get our hand between the glass and the rock. And I'm just going to use some pieces to bridge across like so. So we're just going to add some very basic fish to start off with. I want fish which are going to really swim around heaps and occupy a lot of space in the tank so that they're always visible in the tank. So I've gone for, for Chromis. We've got two, three, seven or eight, I think. So I'm gonna stage them into the tank slowly. They're very hardy fish, but it's always a good idea to stage everything. So I'll add water to the bucket every five or 10 minutes for the next probably half an hour, and then we'll put them in the tank. So in the meanwhile, we'll epoxy some of this rock work so it's nice and secure. We have a couple of pieces of rock in the tank with corals that are not gonna be easy to epoxy. So we're gonna use the coral glue instead. So this is the Two Little Fishies Coral Fix. This piece here with the Corel Morph. And it would be difficult to use the epoxy on this small piece and a lot easier to glue. So it's gonna sit right there. And I'll just put a dollop of glue like so. And straight back in place. Like that. So the focus of today's job is to revamp the tank. However, we still need to do a few little uh, maintenance type of jobs. Now, one of the jobs that we're gonna do is we're gonna clean some bubble algae off the wave maker. So this is the wave maker up here. And you can see it's absolutely chockers with bubble algae. All right. Okay, so this is the bubble algae here, also known as Valonia, and we're going to clean it off with a toothbrush into the water that we just siphoned from the tank. Probably due to give this wave maker a, a vinegar bath as well, but for just today, it's just a quick touch up. So I'll just go over it with the toothbrush. So we're almost finished our Red Sea Reefer revamp. We just have one more job. We have to put the new fish in the tank. finished our Red Sea Reefer revamp and as you can see the rock work is much better it's more evenly spaced throughout the tank with bigger caves we've removed some of the coral but left a lot of it in there with the new fish there's more action and more color we will add more fish in the future now let's have a look at the filter So we've got our new acrylic filter socks and they're already starting to collect some waste. Uh, we've cleaned the filter a little bit. We've somewhat tidied the cables. We probably still need to do a little bit more work in there but cable ma maintenance is not one of my favorite jobs. But overall the tank is looking much, much better and with a few more corals, a few more fish, this tank will look sensational. So that's it for today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share our videos and we'll have some more videos for you every week, every Wednesday. Um, so thank you so much for watching.
that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's gonna be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy, and keep on reefing.